There's still more than seven hours before a tip-off between number 17 Auburn and number 13 Kentucky, but Auburn fans were here even before the sun rose, bringing their Auburn spirit, creative game day signs, and passion for the game. ESPN's College Game Day rolled into town this weekend for the first time in school history and Auburn students were more than eager to take advantage of the new opportunity. Knowing that no other student's been able to experience this is just really cool to do, be the first one to be like, oh yeah, I was at the very first one, you know, it's, it's a really neat thing. Several Auburn students lined up outside Auburn Arena before the line technically even opened at 7 a.m. What time did you show up this morning? 3.50. Or 2.50, 2.50. Yeah. So yes. what time? What made you want to show up? I wanted to be first in line. I wanted to be here to see game day in Auburn for the first time. For some students, waiting for game day to begin was well worth the wait. Being on college game day has literally been my dream in college since I was like 12. So I was very excited when they announced it. Hosted by Reese Davis, Jay Billis, Seth Greenberg, and LaFonzo Ellis, ESPN's college game day made its third stop in the season in Auburn. Reese Davis commented that it was the best atmosphere so far this year. The show is known for crowd signs and gave Auburn fans a chance to get creative. Madeline Matheson and her friend Sydney Brasher spent hours making their signs for today's show. Brasher feels her sign is an important reminder for all of college basketball. I think everybody just needs to know the truth. <laughs> There's six hours between college game day and the tip off of Auburn and Kentucky. But students have a four hour window to get back in line for a seat at the game. Go get something to eat really quick, hopefully take a quick nap and get back in line. In Auburn, Sarah Palczewski, Opelika Auburn News.